I'm going to be installing the adjustable fuel pressure regulator from Fuel Lab. They, um, I got this one off of Extreme PSI. And I saw this bracket and I'm like, that's probably a good spot to mount it. So I'm thinking I'm going to mount it like this. That way it'll be right above the uh, sheet metal intake manifold. I don't think you can do this if you have the stock intake manifold, but yay for me then. They make their own. Super actually popular, right? They make their own and shit, I don't know. That's That looks fat. Seriously? It's gonna be hard to revert this car back to stock. <laughs> so much crap. Yeah. To revert? The yeah, fuck is that even? Stock. That's not even a word, dude. Revert. Revert. It's a good way to assemble the line for the adjustable fuel pressure regulator. This is the, the return line from the rail to the fuel pressure regulator. This is the fitting that goes on to the regulator itself. Disassemble the fitting. Leave this alone for now. Make sure your end is somewhat circular. Trying to sneak it in at an angle. While pushing pretty hard. You see it's already starting to go in. Into the hole. I like using this one instead of using a, a vise for now. You can see it's fully in about a sixteenth of an inch from the thread, grabbing the thread. To assemble this fitting onto the hose itself, use a vise with aluminum draws. Bought these online. Set it like so. Grab some engine oil or whatever. Just to Grab your hose end, start twisting from the hose itself first.
you're gonna feel it starting to get tighter as you go in that's because that little cone shaped thread is expanding the rubber inside go as far as you can and grab your this is an AN wrench made out of aluminum so it doesn't scratch it Perfect hose end, ready to be installed. First thing you want to do is unplug the battery. You're dealing with fuel, so you don't want to fucking blow up or anything. That would not be fun. This is your stock fuel pressure regulator. This is a new fitting that will go to the from the new AFPR line. Wanna loop it up a little bit. And install it. Just kind of push it in like you pulled off the other one, the old one. As you can see I have to remove my exactly clear cover because the new line was not going to fit it, it was getting in the way. So, I heard that if you get a, a first generation fuel rail, you don't have to modify the cover. Make sure you get uh, some Teflon tape on the gauge itself, as well as the uh, vacuum barber fitting. These are the only places you want Teflon tape in. There's your whole assembly.